You got lucky I got here when I did. The agency sent me when we lost connection with your receiver. You were knocked out by the guards, about to be killed. I took care of them and then dragged you here. Security is aware of our presence, which should make everything more difficult. I can't remember anything. Whatever knocked you out is the probable cause of this. Your memory from the past 24 hours or so is temporarily lost. Your brain should recall everything over time. Be crucial with this one. This is Iranian computer scientist Zorab Gozar. He is, or rather was, the sole creator of a piece of software capable of drilling through the highest levels of intelligence of any government anywhere. So, shall I take him out? No, no. He was collaborating with us. In fact, he was quite willing to pass over this intelligence to two MI6 operatives until he was quietly assassinated a few hours ago at the Grand Hotel presumably for what he was in possession of. Now, I'm sufficiently confident that we've been the only organization in direct contact with Mr. Gozar since the beginning of this operation. I also believe that we're the only group with the knowledge of how to use this and the whereabouts of the software. So, while the creator of this is no longer, the real target of this operation remains untouched. Dear Antos, flank them from the left, Distract them from the right. Heavy weapons should make the mission a little easier. I have my own. <laughs> Did you get anything new on our task? I've already been filled on the basics. But we need more to get to the objective. I did not remember anything further than the beginning of our meeting. Did they not inform you on the location of the Paragon? I was sent here to help you in an emergency. They vaguely briefed me on my way here, but specially said you would know the details. I'm sorry I did not anticipate your failure. Of course, by now the German government will have the hotel crawling with high-end security, treating it like an international crime scene. But that hasn't been a problem for you in the past. And of course, you can use anything within your means to retrieve the software. And the body? Poisoned. Likely still seated at the dining room table in front of his last meal. But that's not important. It'll be treated like a crime scene. Nothing will be touched until the Iranian nationals arrive. The body has been kept at the crime scene. How does a dead man's body show significance in our operation? Hmm. Interesting that Mr. Golzar's body actually gives a whole new significance to the term wisdom teeth. The chip that unlocks the software was self-embedded into his right side molars. You'll need it to unlock the source code on his computer. We've also planted someone incognito at the heart of the FSB who assures me that the Russians are also quite aware of the presence of the Paragon. They've already sent an agent to intercept it. Mr. Osborne, I hope you understand that under no circumstances can another superpower come into the possession of something that you alone must retrieve. I hope I've made myself absolutely clear. We do not have much time. What's wrong? We must make haste. At this very moment, there's another agent trying to gain access to the Paragon. I will get the key that enables access to the main software. You should travel to the floor in which Mr. Gozar's room is located. Clear all security on the tire and gain access to his room. I will meet you there. Our receivers are synchronized. Communication should not be a problem. And remember, when all else fails, improvise.
Bozo's room is number 34 on the third floor. The hallway is cleared. You should have no problem getting here. Locate his laptop. It is what will grant us access to the main software. Here is his computer. It was easy to find. Though not your primary mission, you might also need to identify, potentially eliminate this enemy agent. We're providing you with detailed intel, a bunch of skill sets, perhaps some items on this personal life, so you can identify this person. It's all here in the profile. Here's your man. I'm sorry. 